In this short video lecture, we will be looking at SQL comparison operators and Boolean operators. So SQL, we can compare and use comparison operators. This is very similar to the comparison operators that we use in, uh, in mathematics. So as you can see here, equal is equal to, we have greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, less than or equal to, and the only different one would be the not equal to. You can write it using um, these two symbols here, um, which is the less than and greater than sign together. Um, you can also use an exclamation mark in SQL for a not equal to. So these are the comparison operators that we can use. So let's start looking at SQL queries where we can use the comparison operator. So here we have a query um, and the question is asking us to show all the columns in the product table where the unit price is greater than 10. So we're going to write our SQL statement. Remember that we learned in our previous video that if you write select an asterisk, it's going to show all the columns. And then in our from statement, we are going to list product because we want to get this from the product table. And we have a condition here where unit price, now based on our comparison operator that we just learned, we're going to use the greater than sign and 10. So let's go ahead and bring up my SQL here. When you have to uh, type a new SQL script, um, if you want to type it in a new file and not use an existing file that you have, you can come here and click on this create a new file and you can start typing your SQL statement right away um, here in your query window. So I'm going to go ahead and type that here. So I've typed my query here. Again, I put a comment for query one here in my new SQL file. And if you want to save this file, you can hit on your save to script and you can give it a name that you want to call your script file. And then you hit save and you just need to remember the folder that you're saving your SQL script in. So here I'm going to select my SQL script again. Um, you have select asterisk, which means that, and then I can click on my product table if I just want to double check everything. Um, select asterisk means you're going to pull all the columns from here from the product table. You got to spell it exactly how it's named here, product, where, and then you have your unit price here as a field. And as you can see, it's a decimal type. Um, and then you can say greater than 10, and then you end your um, SQL statement with a semicolon. So I'm going to come and select this here and hit, and then it runs my query. And then you're going to see um, your product ID, your product name, all the fields here. But when you look in your unit price, you're only going to see a unit price where the unit price is greater than 10. So remember, this is not greater than and equal to. There's a difference between greater and greater than or equal to. If it says you want to see 10 and above, you need to use the greater than and equal to sign. Uh, but here in your results, you're only going to see a unit price that is greater than 10. So you can use these um, comparison operators in any way you want. Again, it depends on the question. What is the question asking you for? So let's move on to look at SQL logical operators. So we have the AND, OR, and NOT, which are some of the common operators that we use. Um, you should all be familiar with this from your programming class that you have taken. The AND, OR operators can be used to filter records. AND condition means that all the conditions are true. The OR operator displays a record if any of the conditions separated by your OR is true. And the NOT operator displays a record if the condition is not true. So I've given you a link to W3Schools here so that you can click on it and again get more details on the syntax and examples of using it. But let's go ahead and look at some example queries here. So let's look at writing a query using the AND operator. The question is asking you to show all the records from the customer table where the first name is Elizabeth and the country is Canada. So we have this condition here and you have an AND. It's asking you for both the conditions. So I'm going to come ahead and do my select star asterisk space asterisk, which means that it's going to pull all the records from the customer table. Now in our where condition, this is where we are going to list first name is equal to Elizabeth. It needs to be in quotes because first name is a character data type. 
and country is also a character data type. So we have that in quotes and we end our SQL statement with a semicolon. So let's go ahead in Workbench and look at running this query. So in Workbench, I've typed this query as it is, as you can see here. In case you run this query and you get an um, syntax error, you can change this from single to double quotes and try, but you also want to make sure that you're not making any mistakes in the spellings, adding unnecessary spaces, um, or not adding a space where it's needed. So these are some of the common errors that can happen. So I'm going to go ahead and select this SQL statement and come and execute it here. And as you can see, I have one record that meets the criteria from the customer table, which is customer ID 10. The first name is Elizabeth and then um, my country is also Canada. So that meets this requirement that I've asked in my query, as you can see here. Again, um, stay away from unnecessarily putting spaces um, because those are some uh, ways in which you can get an error if you run this query. Let's look at another example of using the SQL OR operator. In this query, we're looking to find all records from the customer table where country is USA or country is UK. So again, we are going to do our select star because we are pulling all the records from the customer table. So we have from customer. Now in our where condition, we are going to say where country equals USA. Again, USA is in quotes because the country is a character data type. We have our or operator here, country equals UK and then we're going to end it with a semicolon. So let's go ahead and put this into Workbench. So this is my third query that I'm writing. So I'm just putting a comment here. Again, this is how you comment in SQL. You have your hashtag query three. I have select star from customer where country equals USA or country equals UK. So it's important that you type it the exact way. Um, you need to make sure you're putting your quotes, you have your space or um, exactly the way I'm going to select this, come here and click on my execute and I see that I have 20 records that have been returned. When I look in my results, I can see all the records from the customer table starting at customer ID all the way to phone. And it's only going to show me records where my country is USA or UK. And as you can see in this query results grid here, when you look at the country, you're only going to see UK or USA. So let's move on to look at an example of using the SQL NOT operator. So if I have a query where I want to see all the records from the customer table except for records where the country is USA. So in that case, I can do my select star from customer here in my where I'm going to say where NOT country equal USA. So this NOT statement is going to negate it, which means it's going to pull all the records except for where country is USA. So let's go into Workbench and I have this query. This is my comment here, query four, and I've typed it exactly as we just looked at it. I'm going to come and select this query, execute it, and it's going to show me around 78 records, which shows all the countries, all the records uh, from the customer table where country is not USA. So you're not going to see a country that is USA. So finally, let's look at the order by keyword in SQL. So SQL order by is used so that we can sort the results of our query in either ascending or descending order. Because when you're pulling out records from a query, it comes in a certain order. And sometimes your reports might specify that you wanna see a particular column in ascending or descending order. So the order by sorts it in ascending order by default. Uh, we can use the ASC keyword for ascending, or we can also use the DSC keyword for descending. Now, if you don't put any um, um, keyword with the order by, by default, the results will be sorted in ascending order based on whichever column name you're listing here. So, so here is a query. The question is asking to show all records from the customer table sorted in descending order by last name. So I have my select star 
from customer. And then since I don't have any where conditions, remember if I have a where condition, I will put it after my from statement. But the question doesn't ask for any where conditions. It's asking to show all records from the customer table, but it's asking us to sort the results by last name in descending order. So I'm going to type order with a space by Last name is the name of our field and B-E-S-E -E as a keyword. And since that's the end of the query, I'm going to put a semicolon. So I've typed this query in my SQL, in my query editor file that I've been working with. I'm going to put query five because this is the fifth query. That's my comment. And I've typed select star from customer order by last name in descending order. So now I can come and select this and execute it. And you're going to see your results. And when you look at the last, it's going to show all the records from the customer table. And then when you look in your results and look at last name, you're going to see that it's sorted in descending means it's going to go all the way from Z to A. So it's going to show you a last name in descending order. So let's look at some practice queries. Again, um, take a minute to pause and try to write these queries by yourself and come back and see whether you got your results correct. So we have a query seven here and it's asking to write an SQL query that shows all information in the customer table for customers from Germany or Portugal. That's your query seven. So you wanna pause this video, try to write this by yourself and see if you can get it right. And then we have our second query here, which is write an SQL query that shows the product name, supplier ID, and unit price for products with a supplier ID of eight and unit price less than 10. We also have a condition that's asking us, the results need to be sorted in ascending order by unit price. So again, take a pause and try to work on this by yourself. And then let's look at the answers together. So I just have a correction to make. This should be query six and not query seven. So this should be query six and query seven because we've written this would include totally seven queries together. So let's look at the answers together. Query six is asking us to show all information in the customer table. So you have select star, which is going to pull all the records. I mean, all the columns from customer. And then we have a condition where the country is Germany or Portugal. So we are going to come and say where. So when you click on customer, you have a field country and you're always welcome to click on the spreadsheet and look at the record so you understand. So when you look in the country, you're going to see that you have records that have values for Germany and Portugal. And what this query is asking is to show the records where country is Germany or country equal Portugal. So it's important that you get your syntax right Country is a character data field, so it needs to be in quotes. And then you have your OR operator. You need to mention the field name again if you have multiple AND or OR conditions and you're using the OR or AND operator, you need to specify the column name again. So now I'm going to come select this query here and run it. And it's going to show me all records from the customer table where the country is Germany or it is Portugal and I can see I have 13 rows or records that meet this criteria. Now my query number seven was asking me to show product name, supplier ID and unit price. So when we examine these columns here, we by looking at the question, we need to understand that this needs to come from the product table because you have product name, supplier ID and unit price as fields in your product table. So I'm going to write those fields names exactly how it's named in the product table. Do not make any spelling mistakes or typos. You want to say select space product name comma supplier ID comma unit price here from product because I'm pulling this from the product table. My condition in my where is supplier ID equals eight and unit price is less than 10. So when I look at supplier ID, it's an integer data type, so I don't need to put the value in quotes. When I look at unit price, it's a decimal, which is again numeric, so I don't need to put that in quotes. So I have my equal to sign here and less than, this all comes from your question. And finally, it's asking to sort the results. So we're going to use our order by statement, 
by unit price and it's asking us to put it in ascending order so by default if you don't mention the ASC or DESC keyword it will sort the results in ascending order so I can leave it as it is select my query and run it and it's going to return the product name tea time chocolate biscuits which is supplier ID 8 and this is the only record that has a unit price that's less than 10 so this is how I write my query now in this particular query since we have only one record the use of order by might not be that obvious but I just wanted to again point out to you that if the question is asking you to show the results sorted in ascending or descending order you definitely want to write that in your query statement by using your order by statement